Hey, Bass Geek here, and I'm with... Ricky Rebels. He was just watching my Alabama rig video last night. Cool. Uh, Ricky, anybody you want to shout out? I want to say hello to everybody in the Pembroke, North Carolina community, around uh, Pembroke, uh, UNCP, North Carolina. Hey, Pembroke, go fishing with this guy. He showed me some pictures. <laughs> oh, Lord. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Hey, Bass Geek here, and I'm with a couple of soon-to-be subscribers. Graham Harris. Paul Baker. Now you've got an Instagram you want to shout yeah, out? Yeah, Redhead054. All right, make sure you go out and follow him. I like to say hi to my family and my mom and my dad. Hello. All right, guys, make sure you go out and follow him. Make sure you keep up with these two young anglers. They got a passion for it. They really like it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hey, Bass Geek here, and I'm with Danny Hogan. How, how y'all doing? So anybody you want to shout out, Danny? I'd like to shout out to my wife and family and Bill Wignall and my fishing club members. Hey guys, thanks. Danny, thanks for watching Bass Geek. I appreciate all the support, yeah. man. I really do appreciate I'm it. I'm trying to get them interested in watching you and uh, and a few of the other men on the YouTube issues that are available to us nowadays. And it's really helpful it's, there's to, a uh, to our knowledge it is going ahead in in the fishing industry and what's really great about you know the guys like me i fish a certain area i don't travel a lot mm -hmm. but there's a lot of techniques that are specific to my area that guys like danny here can actually take and adapt to their yeah. area and likewise you know Absolutely. getting to talk to danny i get to learn a lot from him especially uh the depth finder issues that you go over and Along with other other people too, you know, uh, they help me try to pick uh, my next purchase of a depth on All right, thanks for stopping by, Danny. Yeah, man. Thank you. Man, I appreciate the heck out of it. Hey guys, I'm here with Darren Yow. He is the inventor and owner of the TRC rod covers. Now he's gonna tell you today why the rod covers that he makes are better than any other rod protection on the market. Okay guys, so to start off with our rod covers, we offer a good type braid. And that was my main concern with the rod guides going through that, that braid. Also, we put a, a nice base on the end of it, keep those hooks from going into that braid and it's, it's dipped in a, a rubber compound, and then after that we dip it in a hard clear coat. That keeps it kind of hard and stiff. On the tip, we also do the same thing. We dip it in a rubber compound, and then we dip it into a hard clear coat. Gives it that hard. We also put a, a foam inside there. That foam does two things. One, it provides rod tip protection, so you don't break those, break those tips off, and then it also floats. If that thing falls out of, the, out of the boat, into the water, you just whip back around, you go get it, it'll be right there waiting for you. I know I've lost some of the cheaper versions before I came across his product. Thank you, Darren. I appreciate your time, man. All right. And that's trccovers.com. Thanks, guys. Hey, Bass Geek here. I'm with one of my subscribers. Hey, this is Pablo, a.k.a. Basicario. Want to give a big shout out to this guy right here. Follow his channel. Been learning a lot from them. Thank you, sir. Check him out. And also a big shout out to my wife. First year anniversary. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. I, you guys look happy. On their anniversary, he's down here fishing. You know it's going to last. Brother, thank you. Any social media you want to shout out? Hey, if you want to just follow my, my channel, I just started it. Uh, it's Basicario TV, and I also got an Instagram under Basicario. So. All right. Brother, I appreciate hey. all the support. Thank, thank you, you, guys. Love it when y'all stop by. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, Bass Geek here, and I'm with a guy who really reached out to me, gave me my start, gave me my first bump. Uh, a channel that you guys need to go make sure that you subscribe to, especially I tell him he should change his channel to Pimp My Yak. All the time he knows this. I tell him this all the time. I don't know any YouTuber that's got a kayak that is more pimped out. I mean, I keep telling him he needs to add hydraulics to it. I mean, 
I don't know how that would work, Neon but lights. yeah, it'd, it'd be really cool. <laughs> but this is the guy that really uh, reached out to me when I first got started out, and I'll forever be indebted to this man right here. So uh, go check him out. Tell him what your channel is. Na uh, my name is Thomas Farley. I run the Southern Outdoors Fishing uh, here at the Raleigh uh, Greensboro uh, here at the Raleigh Expo. Um, over here with uh, NCKFA booth and the Great Outdoor Provision booth, uh, helping with their kayak stuff and everything. And uh, had to go get my tripod for a uh, <laughs> seminar I got to film later on. But yeah, I want to come come say uh, hello to Bass Geek. He told me he's going to be here, and uh, yeah, it's, this guy, this guy, this guy's awesome. This is not just a fellow YouTuber. This is one of my really good friends. So guys, make sure you go out and check out his channel and support this dude right here. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, Bass Geek here. I'm with... Kevin Bradshaw. Got anybody you want to shout out? I'd like to give a shout out to my two older sons, Daniel and Alex, who are my fishing buddies, and I just wish them all the best today. I'm sorry they couldn't be here today, but I'll make sure I bring them something nice home. There you go. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Alex. Make sure he brings you some good stuff home so you can go catch some big old bass. Thank you, brother, yes, for sir. watching. And Thank all you people all that don't support. subscribe to this man's channel, I have learned more watching this man in the past year. And I start new stuff. You need to subscribe, like his videos, do what you have to do to get this man more stuff. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir, man. I appreciate yes, it. Yes, sir. All right, guys. I just I appreciate you guys coming out. <laughs> Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Jack from Viking Eyewear. I'm telling you, they make some great sunglasses for the angler he's going to tell you a lot more about them guys uh, we started the business about five years ago we came into the industry we felt that there was a need for this type of eyewear you know we love the costas the maui's the oakley's fantastic brands we just felt that you know anglers out there when they're fishing you know there's a certain amount of money that these guys have um, we just felt that we could bring to a product in our eyewear that was a high performance, polarized uh, blend of durability, like you can see right here, and the tack polarization that you want, that you guys need for when you're fishing out uh, on the ponds, rivers, oceans. And uh, you know, we've been doing this for five years. We're trying to bring the light, our brand, and the need or lack thereof of a, a, a great priced uh, pair of glasses. And that's one thing I can really tell you guys, the, the price point, you know I'm always trying to bring you bang for the buck. I don't think I've found a pair of eyewear out there yet that has the bang for the buck these do. And he's gonna tell you about a couple of different versions I think you got. Yeah, one of the most popular styles that we have, it's called the Stingray. And the reason why we think it's a, a top notch style is the durability of it. A lot of guys like that, and it's the fit. So when we start, first started the, the company, it was all about the fit and the weight of it. You know, a lot of these higher priced glasses, guys love the name brands, but the problem is they weigh a lot, and a lot of times they just don't get the fit right. We feel with our glasses, as you can see the side, we designed them to be matte black, which a lot of guys love, and the lenses are crystal clear. As you can see, the durability, and we have about five different colors in that style alone, and that's the Stingray. This right here is the Marlin. This is the one that I wear, and the reason being is we embedded the nose piece. A lot of times guys will be out there in the water and they'll lose that nose piece, and there's nothing more irritating uh -oh. than losing that nose piece. Uh -oh. So we embedded it, you won't lose it, and the durability of the Marlin is right there, and I can't tell you the weight of this thing. You wouldn't believe it and it fits perfect. So, I mean, you know, what we're trying to do is we're trying to, to drum up our type of philosophy. You know, again, I love those great name brands. The problem is it stings when you lose them. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're at. I'll tell you, I'm super impressed. Like I said, the durability of it. You know, I'm not gonna pull on it like he does. He's a lot more gutsy than I am. But uh, guys, I'm telling you, you need to go check this company out. I'm super excited about them. I, I, I can't say how happy I am that I got to meet you, man. Thank I you appreciate very much. It. Have a great day, guys.
Hey Bass Geek here and I'm with one of my subscribers. He come up and said he watched me just last night. I gotta give that a thumbs up. My name's Camden and I just wanted to say hey to everybody and my mom. <laughs> All right. Thank you brother for coming out and seeing me. One of our future anglers right here, future all-star. Oh, yeah. Hey Bass Geek here. I've got some fellow YouTubers and some subscribers. I'll let them introduce themselves. Jason from uh, NC Fish On, my son Jamar. I'm Brandon Oldman from uh, East Coast Bass Fishing. You getting in? West Fishing Bully TV, baby. All right. <laughs> Make sure you get out here and you subscribe to these guys. Get in there. What's up? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Got some, got some uh, uh, photo bombs going yeah, on. Yeah, photo bombs. I mean, you got, yeah, this, you, you got a YouTube channel? This, this, I don't have a YouTube channel, but I do have an Instagram channel. Get at me, Bass Daddy zero six. There we go. This is the Big Coffee Outdoor Pro Staff right here. Yep. So you can get at me on uh, Instagram at NC Fish On and also YouTube on NC Fish On. All right, guys. Here. Yeah, East Coast Bass this is on Instagram. Guys, make sure you go out and check them out. These are all guys that I've known and talked to for quite a while now. Thank you guys. I know. Appreciate you. Hey Bass Geek here. I'm with a couple of subscribers. Michael Ross. And Julia Teasley. We're here at the Bass Expo in Raleigh and I uh, feel like we met a celebrity here today. Oh God. <laughs> to get I'm Bass nobody. Here. We watch them all the time, love the shows, uh, tell them to keep up. We love watching the shows. So. Thank you, man. Instagram. Uh, Michael page. Ross and I also have a YouTube that I'm just now starting. It's uh, Lip Ripper. I do all kind of fishing, crappy fishing, bass fishing, striper fishing, anything that will buy the hook, really. So, there you go. Uh, just come out and watch. I enjoy it just as much as you will. See, I, I'm nowhere near that good. All I can do is fish for bass. <laughs> no, no. If I started, I'm not great. So don't, don't get that. Don't it, get if I started spending money on crappy and, uh, and striper, I'd be divorced right it's now. Expensive. So. <laughs> it's expensive. It's well, expensive. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank sir. You. Thank nice you. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey guys, I'm here with Mr. Mike Cherry. He fishes the Shenandoah and the Piedmont Division. He's gonna to talk to you about some cool hard baits that I've already spent a lot of money on. So first up, we got the brand new, just came out, Shaker Z. This is that new 3 4 ounce rattle trap type bait in that small half ounce body. So you don't have to get that big old ugly one that nobody really likes <laughs> to get that weight that you've been wanting all these years. That's right. So to me, it's kind of like putting a V, uh, a V8 and a V6. There you go. You know what I mean? Kind Lighter of that, weight, faster ride. Right, ride. right. So you can cast it a mile. There you know you that, go. right? Especially straight into the wind. Exactly. Then you know the next one we got is the one I designed for Timmy Horton and developed. That's the Cherry Bomb. This one goes. The Cloud Hopper goes six to. I'm gonna say six to eight, depending on your line size. I've, I've got it down close to nine a couple times, but just barely ticking that grass that was down there. Then next up, the Z-Boss 20. This is that Car Lake, Kerr Lake. Oh yeah. Gaston off the point, down in High Rock, Falls, all y'all ledge fishermen. This is, this is the money train right here. This is the one that Timmy set the record on actually, oh, yeah. so. I haven't set any records with it yet, but I've, I've <laughs> definitely caught some fish. But you know what I like about this one or anything? It doesn't pull like those other crankbaits. Really? So those other crankbaits that are pulling on your arm, feeling like you're almost dragging a dead weight yeah, through the water. Yeah. These Z-Balls 20s, the 10s, none of them, they don't pull hard like that. Yeah. So you're not going to have that arm fatigue like you normally get in other baits. So. But you can fish these, you know, definitely off those points and ledges. Yeah, I yeah. mean, you've seen it. So oh, yeah. It, yeah, it, I've seen it. It's a bad crankbait. The other good thing, now this is a Z-Boss 20. Yes. But they're, it also comes in a bigger size. Now I picked up some of them because I fish some really clear deep water. Right. What's the other size? They got them in the Z-Boss. We got the 20. We got the 22. We got them in the 24 and the 25. Yeah. So you will be able to go deep And And these. most of the people are fishing them in, or not in, but most of the size line they're fishing them are somewhere between that, that 10 to 14 range. Uh, me and Timmy was talking earlier, and he really prefers the 12 and 14. Yeah, yeah. Um, sometimes he said he'll use 10, you know, depending on where he's at. You know, if you're beating rocks, of course, you want to go up a little bit. But yeah, yep. he's like, if it's pretty open where you can hit a clean bottom and it's not a lot of rock, you know, he'll drop down to 10 just to get a little extra out of it. So, All right. Um, 
Now, where can they find these online, Profound Outdoors? Profound Outdoors. You can also call them if you need to, if you, like, if you got any issues or whatever. Okay. And, uh, and y'all check uh, Profound on Instagram and Facebook, too. They, uh, they actually respond. If you send them an email, they'll actually respond. So it's not one of them companies that's going to, you know, pretend like you ain't nobody. They'll, they'll, they'll actually respond. So. And that's what I like about them. You know, Timmy Horton is, uh, you know, he's always been a good guy. I've always been a big fan of him. Mr. Cherry here, he's a stud stick angler. Make sure you go out and follow him. What kind of, uh, you got any uh, Facebook page, Instagram Yeah, I'm on page? Facebook. I, I, did, I did set up my Instagram, but I'm a little busy, so it's hard keeping up with all this <laughs> social media stuff. I do have a Snapchat, but I barely get on that. My daughter makes me get on that. Uh, but I'm, I'm mostly on Facebook the most because it's, now what's your Facebook page name? Mike Cherry. All yeah, right. just Mike Cherry. So look him up, guys. Mike, I appreciate it, yeah, man. man. Love these baits, guys. We'll do an unboxing, really talk about what I bought later on. But uh, like you said, make sure you go out. You follow them on social media. Of course, there'll be links in the description below. As always, appreciate it, bro. Yeah, man. All appreciate right. you, bro. Thank you. All right. Hey Bass Geek here and I am with one of my subscribers who stopped by to say hey and hopefully pick up some of these TRC covers. I'm going to give him a Most discount definitely. code here in a minute. Yeah. Most definitely. And tell everybody your name. I'm Dale and I'd like to give a shout out to my buddies at work, uh, Hoyt, J-Dub. Uh, I'm sure you're down here at the show somewhere and I'll find you down here later. All right, man. Thank you for stopping by. Thank Thanks, you for Hank. all the support. Appreciate the YouTube right. channel. Man. It's a great channel. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, guys. Bass Geek here, and I'm with a couple of my subscribers. I'm Preston Hamilton. Scott Hamilton. Yep. Shout out to uh, Bass Geek for letting us be on the video. <laughs> Check out my Instagram, uh, Preston Hamilton 01. And uh, shout out to everybody that's watching. Shout out to TC, TRC Covers. The nice covers. Floatable. Check them out online. Thank you guys. Right. I appreciate you all being on. I appreciate you all Thank watching you. more than anything. Yes, sir. More than I can enjoy ever it. We learned a lot from it. Thank you guys. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey guys, Bass Geek here, and I'm with one of my subscribers. Andy Lyles. Hey man, it is an honor to meet you. You got anybody want you want to shout out or yeah, I'd like to shout out old Ricky Todd. Yeah. Lake Gaston, North right. Carolina. Good buddy of mine. We do a lot of fishing together. Yep. Now, this guy right here's done told me that he's gonna take me no, down to Lake Gaston. We're gonna go get on him. He's done said he knows the secret holes. Yep, <laughs> we got him tied up, ready to go. No pressure. <laughs> thank you, man, I appreciate right. you stopping by. You yes, wanna sir. holler at anybody else? No, we're good. All right, thank you, man. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Fish Sticks Pro, Gary Malkin, and he's gonna tell you and highlight a few of the rods and the selection and the diversity that Fish Sticks has to offer. Well, first Hank, thanks a lot for, for, for showing us this. But what I wanna tell you a little bit about Fish Sticks, it's a local mom and pops company, and we're out there in Florence, South Carolina, so we're very local. We carry a Brashito blank, and this is our Clearwater series. And with our clear water series, we do both the microwave guides and we do the regular guides. We carry everything and, and, and we really do, as a custom rod shop, we really do anything that you need. But some of our everyday specials that we do is like this SJ-7-2. Uh, this is a great spinnerbait rod right here. And it's a diversity rod that, that you could also throw on a shaky head and that, that you could throw um, you know, with any type of top water. So what's awesome about uh, a lot of the fish sticks rods is it's not only a one rod system. So it's great for co-anglers, it's great for anglers. You can cut this bait off if, you, if you're not doing nothing and you're a co-angler or you're a kayak fisherman and you can go ahead and put on another bait, the diversity of, of this particular blank. Again, it's a Brashito blank, it's the SJ-7-2. This, Always good to have a good all-purpose rod in the in the rod. Absolutely, rod. and this particular one is a medium with an extra fast tip. Nice. So uh, the tip, and on these tips, on this medium, it's what you see is uh, it's an 80-20. So you got 80% backbone and 20% tip nice. for this. I mean, you can't go wrong. 
Um, realistically, our flagship, if you will, Hank, our flagship is called Wicked Sticks. So our Wicked Sticks, this is made out of a rain shadow blank, and it's a revelation. This particular one is a seven foot, two inch. It is a medium action. And again, this has an extra fast tip. So this is a 70-30, and you can see the difference in the bend. This is a 70-30 type blank. The Revelation by Rain Shadow, this is our flagship. Uh, this is also on our higher end, this is about a $200 rod, versus our Bushido blank is about $150 to $160 rod. But the sensitivity on the Rain Shadow blank is, is bar none. I really, really like the uh, the real seat here. That's, that's just awesome. So that that real seat, it's it's uh, Dale actually brought it into the um, into the Brashito blanks as well for 2019. Sorry. We locked that down, and then you put an extra locking nut, and then when you sit there and you crank it down in, it's just like a, a mechanic doing a double nut yeah. on a, onto a bolt. It locks it in place. I would really like to showcase some of our master rodsmiths capabilities that they can do and as you can see there this is a rod geek blank which is is a, a great blank it's not a Bushido it's not a rain shadow but it's it's a great blank but look at some of the intricate weavings that yeah, that our master rodsmiths do and, and we'll get some close-ups I'm sure at some point in time but um, what the, what we will do is say you want a specific rod at a specific length and you need it in a specific amount of time that's what custom rod building does, and yep. this is some of the product that we can put out. And again, the sensitivity is bar none. This is again another 70/30 type action, and it's it's a it's a great all around. You can do multi-purpose, and it's a great showcase rod. Yeah, it's a beautiful rod. I, I love the design. All right, guys, make sure you know as always. There's going to be links in the description on how you can get in, in touch with these guys. You know, through their social media, through their website. You know, you can have. Uh, all kinds of designs or custom rods made in any way you want, but the fish stick stuff, for example, I mean, it's great, it's super light, you know, I'm sure it's super durable. These guys can tell you, you know, it, it, they're, they're gonna last you a long time, they're great to set up, they're great built, and uh, they use quality, quality parts and blanks. All right, man, I appreciate it. Hank, thanks a lot, man. Thank you very much. Take sir. care.